Hey everybody, it's Dolores. So, um, day 21 of dry January. So, three weeks down. Everybody must be feeling like really, really good. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm just out of the shower. Just washed my hair. No makeup on. Um, so, normally I'm posting stuff about um, uh, mental health issues. And uh, this month, of course, focusing on dry January and alcoholism. But uh, one week a month, I go to Alaska and I work in uh, hospitals in rural Alaska. So this is kind of like a get ready with me for my week in Alaska and how I prep to go out there. Um, I probably will break this up into three sections um, because what a lot of people don't know is that in a lot of these areas, uh, food's super expensive. So um, we try and prep going out there. So I'll do a whole thing about what foods I take with me and what I kind of um, uh, pack to take out there because don't forget I mean you're traveling for 16 17 hours you need stuff that's uh, going to be frozen or um, not going to thaw out um, and stay fresh etc so um, and then of course as well you're trying to eat uh, nutritious and healthy out there so and that's challenging um, so I'll probably do one on just my clothing one on the food and then one of course on um, uh electronics and certain things like that okay so uh first things first um we'll start with clothing okay so what i normally do is first of all i cannot cannot kind of travel without it, these cubes okay just can't do it okay cube number one is going to be for um scrubs in the hospitals that i work in i can wear scrubs it just makes it so easy um basically i have about seven or eight uh scrub sets all from figs mostly all black i do have one brown one um the scrubs that i like for alaska um, are cuffed at the end um it's super important because you do um get snow uh in your uh boots um then so one is for scrubs scrub tops um the second cube here is empty at the moment um but i'll show that in a second and that's basically it's going to be my um uh stuff for the gym because i do try and work out when i'm out there um uh, my pajamas um some other stuff um that doesn't fit into one of the other cubes and then of course this one here is kind of just underwear bra uh various other things uh in addition to that this time around i am actually going to take a sheet with me um because um we're provided all of our linens um uh while we're there but um this is a cotton sheet. I prefer sleeping on cotton. So I'm going to try and fit this in. And then in addition to that also as well, I have my uh, figs uh, sweater. So as most people know, when it's freezing cold, you are better off layering. And that's exactly what I do when I'm out there. The temperatures are meant to be in the negatives. Uh, one of the days I saw was negative 19. The next one is negative 21. Um, so I will pack some additional um, items uh, this time around, um, I actually might take my, um, ski pants. Okay. Also as well, um, I will link in here. I wear sorrel boots. Um, I found that they are the best in Alaska. I don't, uh, they've just, they've really good grips on them. Um, they're super warm and insulated inside. Um, uh, and you wear socks with them. Um, they're kind of fuzzy inside. Um, in addition to that, um, I do wear my, I have the, uh, Katunas. I've used these um, in Juno. I've had them probably about three years, four years maybe, and they're in great condition. They've never broken these kind of links or seams as well. They don't break, but these are the Cthulhu studs, um, and these are a must-have. You have to have these in Alaska. Um, the other thing that I do have as well is I have buffs or gaiters. Um, this is a buff. Um, because you do have to cover your face, especially when it's a negative 21. So I normally put this one here closest to me, and then it's followed up by this one here. I just like this one. It works well for me. Um, I have a beanie hat, okay, and then I also have the hood on my, um, I have a North Face parka. It's probably the best one I've found, um, and I'll take a picture of that later. And then also this here is, um, uh, these are actually leg warmers, and I love these. I put them, put, put on my socks, put these in, then put these on. They're like, um, uh, cuffs on your boots so again they keep the snow from going out but as I said this time around I think I might take ski pants with me um I do have other gloves I'm just showing these ones because these are wool um they are actually quite warm um 
but I do have ones that are um, waterproof um, and they are downstairs. Um, what I do carry is I carry a, uh, this is the Travel Pro. Um, this is my carry-on and in addition to the, to the Travel Pro. So I try and put all of my clothing and my toiletries into that um, because the number of times that you have got super, super tight connections and you're running and your bag doesn't make it on to, you know, from Boston to Seattle, Seattle to Anchorage, Anchorage to wherever you're going. Um, so I do have a carry on. I always have my toothbrush, you know, I always have underwear. I have change clothing, et cetera, et cetera. And also as well, my cleats are in there, my Akatulas. Um, and then this here, I apologize for the mess. Uh, this here is my OGO bag. Um, and I put all of my, um, I tend to put a lot of food in there. Um, so my food will go in there. Um, the other thing that I took with me last time, which I left up there because I'm going to use it again, is I actually put in a hot water bottle. And uh, uh, that like saved me too. I boiled water and used a hot water bottle every night. Um, and I mean, the houses and housing accommodation is super warm and everything, but it's just nice getting into a warm bed. So... That's basically it. Um, I'll show you how the cubes pack and uh, put them into my travel bag. Okay, so basically that's three of the cubes filled right now. Um, I do have um, more underwear and other stuff downstairs um, that need to go in here, which will fit. And I've got room here in this little one too. So now we'll just uh, try and get them into this travel bag. Um, the Catulas, my ice cleats, and my belt, this one here, I do try and put into the front pack. Also, one of the things about using the cubes is <clears throat> when I actually um, go and stay um, in the apartments or the dorms at these hospitals, what actually happens is that I just take the cubes out and I put them into the chest of drawers or whatever and, you know, peel the lid back and fold it back on itself. So I just take out... Um, uh what i need for that particular day or for the next day in addition to that i normally bring i have seven full sets I try and bring the seven full sets um but i am there sometimes i mean for nine days and more so there is um washing facilities at every place that i go to um so i'll show you because i actually bring my own tide pods and various different things um and i also have a uh I think they're called thrasher bags, thrasher bags, um, for uh, food, etc., etc. So I'll show those in a separate video. Okay, so um, as you can see, um, everything pretty much fit into that Travel Pro, um, and this one I think actually is even a little bit smaller than the previous one I had. So I'm super pleased with that. Um, I do always use my straps. Um, because it tends to pull everything in and you could even get if I wanted to I could probably get that sheet in but I'm going to put it into the other bag so that's it the Cthulhu's and my buffer in the front easy to easy to get to um, another zipper here which is phenomenal so you can put that stuff in there yeah and uh, <clears throat> I also carry a backpack with me so um, I think that you can use this area here for a laptop, but um, I don't. Um, one of the things I love is this super sturdy handle and another sturdy handle here, which is great if you're trying to lift it up and put all your hip in. Okay, so here are my super trusty soles. I love these boots. They're pretty amazing. Um, you can see the tread on them. They're just perfect. And as I said, the Cthulhu's fit perfectly. That's Mr. Higgins in the background there. Mr. Higgins. So those are the sorrel boots and they come up um, and you can tighten them as well here around the ankle, which is great. Um, so these are my all time favorite sorrel boots. Okay, and this is my North Face jacket. Little hood on it, and it is the 550. It is the best jacket ever. Um, zipper pockets here, it has an inner pocket as well, um, and has this velcro as well as the double zipper. Um, this goes all the way down to uh, my thigh. So there's the inner pocket there for stuff. 
Okay. And as I said, this is the 